hey guys welcome back to the channel and for today's video we will be doing a get ready with me i need to go out and i need to go to ulta to see if i can return my concealer from the Too faced brand um you should be seeing a vlog slash um tutorial before this video and i tried out the new Too faced um matte foundation and then i tried the concealer um, I got the concealer in the shade Honey, and it was a nice shade, but um, it was too gray. And even like I noticed that I might have chose the wrong color because I was in between two colors. I can't remember the exact color right now, but if I figure it out, I will put it on the screen somewhere. But I was in between shades and when I was in the store trying to decide, they only had the other shade. So I went with Honey and it was cool at first, but once it started settling in and I went in with my Laura Mercier setting powder, it looked very gray. And so I'm gonna just have to try the other shade and Hopefully that's a good one. So I'm gonna do that today and then I need to go to the grocery store because um, I got my husband a grill for our anniversary and he um, wants to go on the grill today. So I need to go to the store for that. But I'm going to use my other palette that I said that I wanted to use when I filmed my colorful makeup look. So that's what we're gonna do today and if you want to see what i come up with it's probably going to be something simple then continue to watch okay so hopefully my camera is staying in focus but this is the palette that i am going to be going in with today and these are what the shades look like so we have a lot of purple tones and then some more orangey tones so I feel like I just filmed a look using these colors, but let's see. So I think I'm gonna take this shade right here called Grounded and I'm just gonna use that all over the lid. It's like a brick tone type of color. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face using my Professional Primer because as always, I want it to settle into the skin before I apply my foundation. I already applied some on my forehead before I added concealer to the top of my brows. <sighs> so I've been trying to film this video for probably like the past 30 minutes but every time i go to film my phone ring and you know your phone don't ever ring until you're doing something so as always i'm gonna go in with my fenty concealer in 360 to use as my base for my eyelids So I kind of want to have some sort of dimension going on in my crease. So I'm going to take this shade called Vibration and it's this brown shade right here. My camera is not picking up the colors well, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to take that shade and put it in my crease. So I'm guessing Instagram changed the way they um, show your post on Instagram. And apparently if people don't engage with your content that you post, it, whether it's a picture, a video, a IGTV, um, you won't see it unless it gets a certain amount of engagement. 
and i do want to express to you guys that if you do follow me on instagram make sure you know you do like my pictures you like my videos you share them you save them because for some reason that's just what instagram looks at when they show you to other people that follow you a little bit more so you know if you want to support me want to see more of me want me to put out more content um make sure you know you engage with me and that you show some love and attention to the things that i post so i'm gonna go in with that shade grounded all over my lid wow it looks like it's red we're gonna see that shade is very pigmented. I would have used a more fluffier brush to apply it, but as always, my brushes are dirty. Don't judge me. So I'm just taking this other fluffy brush, it's clean, and just like, you know, blending everything together. Bit more of this shade. I really can't tell you what this color is. Like, I really don't know. Then I'm gonna go back with my brush that I applied the dark shade in my crease with, just to kind of blend it some more. And then I'm gonna take this clean brush again and blend it together. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced foundation like i said this is the born this way matte foundation i have the shade chestnut and i'm going to apply that all over So now that I have my foundation applied, since I do need to change out my concealer for the Too Faced concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my um, Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 360 to highlight underneath my eyes. So as always, I forgot to wet my beauty blender. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Or Mercier Satin Powder. No. 
So in my last video, I used my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in Medium Dark to set the rest of my face because I didn't purchase a um, setting powder to go with the foundation just because all they had was translucent and then they had like the lighter shade and I just figured I could use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder if I wanted to set with that but I don't like using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to set my face I only like using it to set the highlighted areas So now I am going to set my face using my e.l.f. matte setting spray. So while that is drying down some more, I am going to apply some glue on my lashes to let them sit for a little bit. And then I'm just going to finish out the rest of my face and then we're going to be out the door. So while the lashes are drying, I am going to go and add some color on my lower lash line. So I really love this Becca highlighter and chocolate geo. So that's what I'm going to go in with again. So I'm just going to go in with my KKW lip pencil and Nude 3 and then I'm going to apply my e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Coffee and then that's going to be the completed look for this video. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I wasn't very talkative in this video, but I do have a lot on my mind if I am being honest. Um, I'm good. I'm fine. It's just whenever things go on in my life or whenever things go on in general that's personal to me, I tend to like ponder my thoughts and think and sometimes it's a good thing sometimes it's a bad thing in this case I don't really know what I'm thinking or what I should be feeling but I'm just thinking of things to make going forward a lot easier and smoother so I'm not thinking any bad thoughts or anything like that I'm just in my head right now and usually that's what happens when i'm sitting in the house so being that i am about to get out of the house this will help me not think about things too much and you know just continue on with the day so thank you so much for tuning into this video and until next time